hello students in a last lecture we discuss up to the tender form now today we discuss about bid security so bid security is an amount of money that may be calculated as a percentage of the budget estimated estimate of a procurement requirement or a percentage of the bidder bid price so here some of the amount is estimated as a bid security in the form of the percentage and it is used by the client as a protection against the bidder withdrawing their bids prior to the end of their uh, bid validity period or refusing to sign the contract the bid security is intended to deter bidder Uh, from the withdrawing their bids because they would otherwise forfeit the bid security amount to the client and uh, it gives the client some assurance that selected bidder will sign the contract or otherwise forfeit their bid security a uh, bid security guarantee is useful usually acceptable in a one of the uh, following format so here for format is given like unconditional bank guarantee second is a irrevocable uh, letter of a credit third one is a certified check or fourth one and last one is a bond so the bid security must be surrendered uh, surrendered to the client if the bidder withdraw their bid before the end of the bid value period second is a fail to sign the contract after notification of a award and a third one is a fail to provide performance security if required now next uh, important topic is a start is a qualification of a contractors so here qualification is compulsory required to complete the work in a accurate manner so here post qualification of contractor under this process the competency of the contractor is uh, determined after the tender are open out and the lowest tender is generally accepted and the qualification of the concerned contractor are study before actual sign to the contract so here some of the advantages of the post qualification and some of the disadvantages of the post qualification is that of the contractor so first is a advantage first advantage is a full competition second is a sound contract and third one is a save in a time so here in a post contract if contractor is uh, uh, qualified so here number of the qualified contract is uh, fill up the tender so here in between uh, some of the contractor competition is there and here uh, qualified contract is also called one type of the sound contract and uh, sound contract is make a uh, schedule and uh, time management and save the time to complete the project and here some of the disadvantages of the post qualification is that so first is a doubt of a favoritism second is a short period for a decision and uh, undue influence so these three are the disadvantages of the qualification of the contract Uh, pre qualification of a contractor so under this process the competition of the contractor is determined before the tender of the work is are released and the tender are then supplied to only those contractor who are qualified for the job a public body may decide to have a three category of the contractors a b and c so here class a contractor give the works of any amount class b contractor this contractor can give the works up to the 
and uh, class C the contractor can give the works up to 10,000 rupees. So the normally contractor is required to fill up a detailed questionnaire from the under this process and in this form information regarding the contractor past experience present work on a hand financial stability references technical qualification plant and equipment etc is asked to the contractor and after careful studying and analyze this fact officer in charge decide the category of the contractor and accordingly accordingly put the name of the contractor in a schedule of the category like uh, class a class b class c etc so at the present there is a tendency to favor this procedure for uh, most of the public work so here public work uh, like road road network railway network etc et are a public work now advantages of the pre qualification so first advantage is, is a facility for acceptance so under this process the lowest standard will be accepted by the officer in charge of uh, all the competing contractor are qualified for the work and he will save the rejecting the lowest standard on the ground of the contractors uh, inability to do the work the acceptance procedure will uh, thus be smoother second advantage is of the pre qualification is a sufficient time for a decision so the, there are a simple <coughs> There is a ample time for checking the information supplied by the contractor before tender or tender for the work is supplied to him. As such, there is no as is finalizing the contractor's category. Third one is a sound contract. So the contractor awarded under this process will be normally successful at the unfit contractor are omitted previously. And uh, fourth advantage is, is a facility for uh, unqualified contractors. So the unqualified contractor know the uh, their position under this process, and hence there is time, energy, expense for a study the plan and uh, specification of the work for uh, actual seeing the site for uh, conducting any field investigation for preparing the tender, etc. And uh, six, uh, fifth one is a better class of uh, coordinators. So under this process, only qualified contractor for the work complete and hence it improved the class of the competing contractor is general. And here some of the disadvantages for uh, uh, pre-qualification is there. So first one is a normal competition. So there is no real competition among the contractor as only selected contractor are permitted to fill up the tender so here only some of the tender is uh, some of the contractor is only fill up the tender uh, so here competition is uh, uh, decreased second is a doubt of a favoritism so the officer deciding the qualification of the contractor are given wide powers it likes uh, they, uh, they may misuse such a power and may favor some the unqualified under the qualified contractor so it's a one of the disadvantages and uh, third one is a complicated uh, questionnaires form so the questionnaires form required to be filled by the contractor under this process is very complicated and it become difficulty for ordinary contractor to fill this form owning to lack of the record now here uh, pre qualification document uh, is that here one of the example of a pre qualification of the uh, contractor is there uh, pre qualification sorry pre qualification document for a construction of a Jawahar 
Navodaya Vidyalaya in the state of Mizoram and uh, Meghalaya. So here document number issued is uh, written name of the work like if you construct a building like residential, commercial etc. So write here name uh, uh, PQ pre-qualification me PQ means pre-qualification document issue to so the name of the contractor is uh, written at here then after officer issuing the pre-qualification document so officer name office in charge person name is given signature name designation and date is uh, written at here then after notice inviting the pre-qualification so here press notice for a pre-qualification contractor so here first of all uh, in the form of the advertisement pre-qualification uh, uh, press notice is uh, given so here see this uh, example of the uh, press note for the pre-qualification of the contractor then after name of the work so here in a pre-qualification for a construction of the Jawahar Navodhya Vidyalaya in a state of Mizoram and uh, Meghalaya so here uh, up to the amount see this table experience is given and uh, here some of the amount is given for uh, like a total cost of the uh, construction is a uh, 7 crore rupees so 3 similar completed work of each uh, costing less than the amount equal to 40 percent of the 7 crore rupees similarly 50 percent 80 percent is given and uh, second is a uh, turnover is uh, written at here similarly work may, uh, mean is given so it's a uh, one of the example for a pre-qualification of the contract now in a next lecture we discuss on a another uh, topic so here we stop our topic thank you